Well, the scaling itself is uh, uh, very important because at CATO, we have uh, hundreds of production line, and they all have uh, similar characteristics. So when we discover one opportunity, for example, in energy consumption, if we see an opportunity to improve the energy consumption, we quickly adapt to the rest of the production line in our uh, corporations. So that impact, sim simple innovation can produce a very large uh, effect. Each of the production line has some its own unique requirements. So that requires us to customize, even though the idea, the methodology is the same, but actual implementation, actual scaling require customization. In order to build up our capability, we believe that we require talent. The talent who are knowledgeable about IT, about the DT, about the AT, and about the OT. At CATO, when we bring engineer, higher graduates from college, they come to CATO, we provide a lot of training. So CATO, up to now, uh, has created more than 22,000 different courses. And this year alone, we have uh, over 960,000 workers went through different training courses. So it's just, of course, 960, our size on 130,000. That means many people went to multiple courses. Related to the smart manufacturing digital transformation, we have about 400 courses, and we have more than 22,000 people trained with the different IT, AT, DT technology. We established a brand new department called IMD, Intelligent Manufacturing Development Department. And that department now has over 400 engineers. So it's a very comprehensive. This IMD department is specifically looking for opportunities to adopt for our technology to solve a pro production problem or engineering problem or product design problems. Sometimes even they go beyond the CATO boundary, go to our supplier upstream or downstream supply or vendors to help bring smart manufacturing to our production. Well, looking into the future, we believe there's more opportunity. We probably only touch the, the tip of iceberg. We believe there's a tremendous opportunity all over the functions within CATL. Right now, we are doing a, a total transformation, digital transformation from every function, from the HR, finance, the purchasing, internal service, and of course, engineering and research and the marketing and the, the after sales. So that's one thing we are doing. Uh, uh, systematically try to use it more digital platform to uh, automate uh, our process. Second uh, direction, we're looking for how can we use in big data, AI, as well as a generative AI to enhance. Because the first effort, the digitalization, only solves the automation problem. The routine work, the human's routine work will be done with the help of a computer, right, to speed up. That solves the efficiency problem. But now when we talk about smart solution, we try to do better than our human being can do. Because human being, we are limited because we can only recall a certain number of things. We can only imagine several variable interaction. When the number of variable interaction become hundreds or thousands, we are limited. So the computer, on the other hand, can do much better recalling association associating. So we're trying to combine human beings intelligence with machine intelligence. So we call augmented intelligence. So in this regard, we hope in the future CATO's design process will be much faster, more efficient, can do better than our human best designer can do. Also in the processing, we hope we, we are driving for extreme manufacturing because uh, Without uh, these kind of tools, we are limited on the quality we can achieve. In order to achieve a higher quality, we must rely on these kind of uh, uh, smart tools, methodologies to achieve that kind of level of quality. We know to train a, a lithium-ion battery engineer from a college graduate, 
It takes several years before the person can independently perform a design task because it's so sophisticated, involve multi-physics, chemistry, uh, physics, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, material science, and so very complex. It's very difficult for human engineer to really uh, learn to master the skill of design. We are trying to use uh, generative AI uh, to help fresh engineer quickly learn those basic rules because you don't have to remember everything. The quick, uh, generative AI can provide you the database, uh, the, the, tape, the, the lookup table, and even some uh, 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 simulations. So that's what we are trying to see. Can we help uh, engineer, college graduate, after half year learning the tool, can become an independent designer? Also, maybe a designer who have a three years experience can design a product which is better than a 10 years engineer used to be able to, uh, to achieve. So that's something we are uh, trying to do.